So the chains still seem a lot here. Immediately, right? This is just. This is a massive censorship from, of course, the game scene, okay? So this is probably the biggest change of all, from a, at least from an emotional standpoint. So what happens, of course, in the game is that Pascal and the children all delete themselves, right? They're not affected. Instead, it's like they do this, like, mass, you know, suicide. And they all die, right? And the factory. Here, instead, while still a sad scene that Pascal finds one of the children being affected, so he eats the other children, so it's like a really brutal scene. Um, and then he, like, commits... Uh, you know, he he's, he doesn't have with the kid, right? So the, the, so he just ends it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a sad scene, but it's definitely extremely censored. It's very neutered compared to the original scene, right? Because again, in the original scene, it's it's much more deeper. I said that last week, right? How how in the original scene, it's more about the whole religious. It's connected to the fate thing. It's connected to you know the whole idea that the robots uh, figure out that oh, we're gonna be peaceful. We're gonna be pacifist. That, and then they learn about like religion or all the kind of social such right? And some of the robots they, they go fanatic and they're evil or whatever. Pascal's guys are just pacifist and they're nice. But in the end of the game, Pascal basically like, he's like, oh, there's no purpose of life, you know. Like life is just meaningless and it's pain. And... So they ruin it. They ruin it, guys. So hello, one more here. This is gonna be another you know, game compared to anime, Nier Automata, one of the best games of all time, right? And I said immediately, guys, this episode is terrible. Okay, this is the worst episode of the whole anime. Uh, it completely rewrites the Pascal scene. It's like I said last week. I said it's gonna happen last week. Uh, you saw the intro there. That was basically the end of the episode. But I was really angry. It's a much longer bit later. So I guess the scratch. Level, yeah, if you wanna jump over the reaction, jump to let the lap in it. So I'm gonna rage out or rage. I'm gonna rage him because. I expected this thing, right? I was very, very clear in the last episode that I felt that it was very clear they were going to remove the actual, like, Pascal death scene and do something way different and something just way less impactful. And this here is much less impactful. It's in a sad scene, so to speak, but it's like 10 times weaker than the game scene. And if I address it here, um, you know, some people this gave me last week, but my point last week was that. By removing the Pascal scene and by removing the connection to the religious robot last episode, right? Uh, you know, that kind of make, doesn't make any sense. Because Pascal is supposed to kind of understand or understand what he's supposed to have the enlightenment of, like, what is the purpose of life kind of thing, right? So by removing the religious bit and, and also having it at the same time and not going to the right place, I I can just see how this episode wouldn't make any sense. Basically, last week I said they were going to remove this scene, right? I just couldn't see how they were gonna, you know, make it happen with that episode, and here's the result, so, not to be that guy, but I was unfortunately correct, right, I was hoping that I was gonna be wrong, but instead I was correct, and, but that's what I mean, I could see it last week, I was like, it doesn't make any sense, I kept saying it last week, I got a lot of hate for it on Reddit, I got like 20 hate mails, whatever, right, but, but I called it, I was like, nah, they don't, they don't, they don't gonna be able to, you know, to you know, construct it from this episode, which is very strange. And overall, this episode has bad pacing too. So it's just really weird because they could have spent that bad pacing on Pascal instead and build up this scene. So I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Super negative, but anyway. I think, guys, subscribe to the button. Now to the rest part, then I'm going to report. But yeah, it's a very weird episode. But it's exactly what I said. It was going to be like. I had such a hard time seeing how they were going to, you know. How do I connect it with last week? But anyway, let's check it out. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully now then the Pascal team will be in the episode, right? But yeah, that's a watching thing. But I hope that we have the Pascal there, as I mentioned, right? It would be very strange not having the Pascal moment. Um, we have Pascal now then, of course. Showing up here to fight. And this is obviously different than in the game, but... The importance is really, is, is, are we going to have the fate Pascal scene in, in, in the episode, right? Yeah, not just fighting as well. Hmm. <laughs> but like I said last episode, it went very anime when when A2 suddenly started flying in red. <laughs> Kaoken, she went Goku, and now like Pascal is going like... Yeah, super robot cyborg fights here. I don't know. It's like it turned very, very anime. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, uppercutting that giant mecha, yeah, now it's like, now it's really anime. Now this is an anime, yeah, now he's like screaming in a laser beam, now, now it's really is anime adaptation. <laughs> And they too get hit by the blast. You could question why they never do that in the war against the robots normally. Yeah. It goes off thing. But yo, know, I've tried not to spoil that, but everyone who played the game know what a massive thing this is in the end of Pascal. But like I said earlier, I think the pacing is this. No matter how you twist and turn it, the pacing clearly has been kinda of slowed in this season then. Bay day two. And I I at least hope there were gonna be more of the tower. You see the white tower now here in the opening. I was hoping more white tower, right? Um, so that I do think is a mistake, absolutely. It's not enough uh, on the white tower thing. And, uh, red girl as well. No, 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 no. Yes, you watch slime. It's a good episode. Yeah, slime was a good episode. Slime was a very good episode. It was very, I, uh, I very uh, thumbs up. It was a great episode. We finally have Turban Dark starting, so. No mm, more this thing here now in the anime, yeah, very turbulent dark, yeah, very fighty, very fighty, flashbacky. That's true. Do the fight of the giant robots have to be Pascal fight? That's true. Think about it before, but yeah, there are two robots fighting in the end of the opening. That's to be the Pascal scene you saw. I think about last week. Hmm. Uh, has to be. Here we go. Opening over. Uh, yeah, let's see what they. Some water pedals. Hmm. Oh, it's like she's being healed by her. What are you so playing the sad music here? They play the classic sad new <laughs> music. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do -do. Da. Why did I never get the re? I don't know. I said it last week. We need to have a re not a remake, but at the moment, probably just going to be eventually, as I said. But, but uh, we really need a freaking uh, a sequel, right? And not like a mobile game, not like regular, yeah, an actual sequel. And I actually say he goes past cat lying, I guess. Yuki-san. Yeah, here she comes. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, oh, that's badass! <laughs> Adorable, yeah. You saw that? I was freaking the best. Yeah, I like, guess. Yeah, Gambari. Oh, it's Lily. And the only girl. Oh, she should be attacked too. Had a classic scene where all the humans get attacked by. I guess they're all turning into like red logic. Yeah, I think almost, almost every person now is like red. So this doesn't happen in the game. No, it's more like the camp get attacked by the robots, right? But it happens in the, usually the end of the B and A as well. It's also a massive bug there in the game. <laughs> yeah. Also, I know when I was playing the game, I remember this out the first Admata because. It's like a really annoying bug here, which you, you get killed in the, in the in, during the cutscene. Like you you could die during the cutscene here in the game. Yeah, the game will hurt you. So if you enter the village in the wrong place, the cut the cutscene in the robot attacks the village. They, they, they like they will attack your your character and hurt your character. You can die there if you're standing in the wrong place in the cutscene. Yeah, it's like really stupid. Uh, there's more than one. There's about like twice in the game though. Like cutscene cutscene killing you. But I'm like, moving from there. Yeah, I found a little music box there. Yeah, yara yara indeed. Poor little robot there, so I'm gonna fight them, yeah. Hmm. Me. 
I don't know, this kind of slowing down here. I mean, obviously, Lidl is an M only character. And this episode might be. Oh, he's probably obsessed now. He looks really weird. It's like a zombie movie now. Yeah, he looks like he's being. It's like every. This is like every zombie movie ever, right? They're all infested now. So it's like, no! You have to kill your friends, right? Because, yeah, they've been infested. Some guy got bitten. You know, kind of. Basically, yeah. It's, like, it's already like a zombie flick now. It's like, of course, someone in the camp has been infected and they're traveling in with the virus in them. And it is a virus, right? Yeah, it's a logic virus. Yeah, and now she's surrounded by zombie mechas, basically. But they really turn into a zombie movie now. How, yeah, it's like, it's always, it's, it's, see, see what I mean? It's always someone in the camp. They had one girl, she was infected. So even if they, yeah, even if they hide behind the walls, right? Exactly, she turned into a zombie. I mean, this is a very much a, a zombie flick now, seriously, here in here. You know, yeah, one of their comrades, she was infected, she, she, but she didn't say anyone. She got bitten, you know, before she entered the house and she didn't tell anyone the truth, you know. Um, yeah, it's very much that feeling. Very, oh, hey, he's, this guy, though, he's like, no, I will I will die, so I'm also infected, yeah. So he's like, oh, whatever, I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly, and I was like infected, more and more infected people. But yeah, now that everyone's infected, this is so many now, she's like, no! She's also infected. <laughs> I can't have it. It's a zombie movie and everyone is a zombie except the main character. But I guess you say about A2 now, probably. Yeah, I guess so. That's what have much of a storyline, right? She saved. No, it's Jackass, of course. It's Jackass. Yeah, it's Jackass. Oh, and of course, Popola and the Wall are fine too. For some reason, they never get affected. Yeah, for some reason, those two red top twins. Yeah, these two twins are like immune to it. For some reason. They can even cure it somehow. Yeah, why can they cure it? This is never really explained. Why are these two girls that have some very mysterious powers, eh? Yeah, they can even cure the virus. You know, honestly, this is never been a game either, really. They, these two could actually be the real cure then to Red Girl. But they never really confront her in the end of the game. I don't know. But I always find that even though it's an amazing game, the ending of the game is a bit strange. Like the actual cutscene, and the, I don't know if the ending credits are great. And after that, but just, you know, yeah, it's a little bit weird, right? So. It still feels that the game should have been like an hour longer or so. After the 9S and, and A2 scene, yeah. Yeah, they're playing the sad music now. Everyone's gonna die now, play sad music. Hmm. It's all my fault. Let's go, Jack has to annoy her. Jack has Sushan! But I like that uh, Pepola and the wall have more skin time though, that's good. Yeah, but I think that was very important to see them healing them there, like their medical. They have their, their special healing abilities. Hmm. But I still think, I don't know, I think the episode is slow paced now. Because, yeah, now they've been fighting these zombies now for like 8 minutes now. And this is, maybe because it's all new content. Uh, and in one way I should like that, because sometimes, I mean, I, I do prefer that the anime has a lot of new content too, right? But at the same time, this feels kind of like whatever. Like, I don't care about these guys turning into like zombie mechas and trying to eat them, yeah, it just seems so whatever. This is this is feels like I don't really care about this thing. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's really turning into zombie. I think that's the thing too. It is so much like a zombie apocalypse. It is very very zombie-ish. It just feels kind of boring, honestly. Like I think the previous scene they haven't turned into zombies. In the previous scene, the Yora members has been turned into these like super evil, you know, ladies with like a lot of katanas and they're like badass. Yeah, because the Yora like operators on her becoming evil didn't mean she would turn into a zombie, you know, they were still fighting with all the powers, you know what I mean? So, these people now transforming, they're, they're kind of like, they're kind of huge, yeah, they're like way lower level uh, Red Logic e e enemies. These are like the weakest enemies. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, they're all giving Lily a little pep talk here, so she can leave, right, to can do, take it to escape here. Yeah. But Paul and the wall are really sticks out <laughs> in this camp though, yeah, there's a different different appearance than everyone else. The red hair and 
really different appearance than everyone else. Yeah, here they are. <gasps> what? Dame? Sonnalo! But we are the true heroes of the anime ground. So now we could save the planet with our powers. Yeah, like these two, I keep saying, and these two girls should really have more screen time and explain why they can heal the virus too. They should definitely have more screen, have more importance to the storyline. So no. Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand it. I'm honestly, I'm a little bit like. Yeah, let's fight guys. Yeah, let's go out here in a uh, blazing glory. Yeah, like they're all like, let's do it. It's probably commercial right now because she does his speech, right? Yeah. Oh. Better than 9S. But yeah, I honestly think that part wasn't that good. Honestly, that was kind of pointless, yeah. It was like completely anime only, right? See, I said to play later, but see, that was just anime only, and it didn't really dig good much because it was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. One thing that was interesting was that Papola and the water hitting them. The rest was just kind of like, whatever. Oh, he did another factor, of course. Yeah, this is all new in the anime. As I keep saying. Oh. Oh, it's a circus uh, robot. Of course, you seen them earlier in the anime. Yeah, was it? Circus, circus robots are the you know, second arc in the game, really, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's the circus is the second dungeon, and you can replay it. <laughs> now that's just some genius cases immediately. Shut up, robot. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. I'm just trying to be a little robo. But yeah, he hates everything, you know that. He's so mean, man. It's so mean. Oh, it's his plane. Oh, yeah, it's the plane from. Interesting. So, yeah, obviously, you have the plane when you start, you start flying the game, you know. Yeah, it's like, I don't believe in God. Yeah, there's no God here, it's only hell. Of course. To be Sean. Oh, that's just sad now. Of course, it's kind of a recording of her voice here. Of course, it is. Yeah, so you can be all sad about it. Nine S two. Goddamn, game stopping so dramatic. Yeah, we're gonna have to have like this like, yeah, seeking rage. <laughs> My God, this is gonna be rage more. I hate everything. Yeah, it's like four nine S is like. Why is why is like he's like got a torture out of me? <laughs> Dead girlfriend voice in the machinery. It's like why 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 do you have this thing for? Oh, why would I not have this thing for? Yeah, you're like why are you so mean for all the time? Oh nice, she gets like a lift there. That's adorable. A two gets a lift. Yeah, should they go to a zombie place? Probably because of Lily. We saw her earlier commenting that she heard Lily's voice, right? So that's probably what she's going to. Uh, that makes sense. She's coming too late, of course, so the camp has been destroyed. Yeah, we saw earlier with all the zombies, the lilies, yeah, though. As long as Popola and the Wall are fine, I, I'm happy. Yeah, who cares about Lily? 
Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> A2 assets. <laughs> A2 assets scene. Now she's poised again. We are the red twins then. With the red tops. They can come and fix her. Okay, she's gonna have a last stand here with the best friend. Yeah, they're gonna have a last stand here with, uh, look, you know, possessed Lily. With A2 as a kid, I guess. I'm still be touched by the red lodge. Yeah, it's like, don't touch me. What if you get affected? It's never really explained how this virus actually affects people, but how should them, but still, yeah, like, how are you affected? Yeah, you have to end me, right? High IQ and end me. Of course, she's gonna be like, end me quickly. And remember that Lily is her last sister, so to speak. She survived in the in the Pearl Harbor incident, yeah. In the A2's flashback, of course. We learned that her and Lily are besties, you know. And now she's like, yeah. Not the last one that survived from her. Okay, so they sent to the shot there. But obviously, maybe she missed that on purpose, but I don't know. She did end A2B as well, so. Oh no, Pascal is all afraid because he's a friend of mine. There's another Pascal though. Oh, maybe Pascal's gonna have slap now? Because you need to have the Pascal scene, right? With the children. Oh no, Pascal's gonna find the children now? Oh no! Oh no, this is a test, man! All the poor children are being eaten by. Yeah, the children are being eaten. Oh no. Yeah, Kowata is afraid. One little virus guy has been eating all the children. This is very changed from the game here. Oh, it's the one that had a little uh, uh, music box. Oh. Yeah, we can all be friends forever now. All in my tummy. And Pascal plays the song. So they changed this scene massively since the game. Yeah, it's very censored. Uh, still a brutal scene. Pascal finds all the children eaten alive here by the one little children. Yeah. This one has gone crazy and killed the rest. Daishobu indeed. Man, there must be white bear now. And he's like, it's Daishobu. And I guess Pascal was gonna fight him. He's gonna affect him instead then. Pascal is gonna get infected. He can't fight the little baby. But then obviously Pascal will also be affected. So that's the death of Pascal here then. Obviously, it's gonna be the death. Oh, he's gonna, oh, gonna kill Capcast himself and the baby. Uh, and A2 is like, oh, I guess he died or something. I don't know if she didn't react to it at all. Did she saw it happen? She probably figured out, oh, that's Pascal's hand. He's dead, right? And then she's just like, yeah, whatever. I guess he died. <laughs> like, what? She's just like, yeah. <laughs> He's probably dead, right? Yeah. My god, okay, we have to freeze. So this changed this in a lot. This is a massive censorship from, of course, the game scene, okay? So this is probably the biggest change of all, from a, at least from an emotional standpoint. So what happens, of course, in the game is that Pascal and the children all delete themselves, right? They're not affected. Instead, it's like they do this, like, mass, you know, suicide. And they all die, right? And the factory. Here, instead, while still a sad scene that Pascal finds one of the children being affected. So he eats the other children. So it's like a really brutal scene. Um, and then he, like, commits... Uh, you know, he he's, he doesn't have with the kid, right? So the, the, so he ends it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a sad scene, but it's definitely extremely censored. It's very neutered compared to the original scene, right? Because again, in the original scene, it's it's much more deeper. I said that last week, right? How how in the original scene, it's more about the whole religious. It's connected to the fate thing. It's connected to you know the whole idea that the robots uh, figure out that oh, we're gonna be peaceful. We're gonna be pacifist. Then, and then they learn about like religion or all the kind of social such right and some of the robots they, they go fanatic and they're evil or whatever Pascal's guys are just pacifist and they're nice but in the end of the game Pascal basically like he's like oh there's no purpose of life you know like life is just meaningless and it's pain and being alive and having free will just makes you hate yourself because whatever right so what's the point of being alive right so in the original game Pascal's ending is way more tragic and he just commit he did himself with all the children, right? Because he like he realized that like religion and faith and everything is just pointless. Everything is just pointless. So it's like whatever. I um there's no point having free will as well. Uh way more tragic. Here again is like this one kid kills all the other kids, right? By turning into like a lot of yeah, monster and then he's like, Oh no, then he just beat the kid. So yeah, this is a still a sad scene, but massively censored. Massively censored, yeah. Massively so. 
Uh, and that's what I said last week. I was afraid of it because last episode should have had that scene, uh, pacing wise. That should have been where he, of course, him and the children uh, seeing no purpose of being alive anymore. That should have been last week. And now instead, this is kind of. It also removes a lot of the explanation why he does it, right? But there's a thing too, I think. The pacing here has been pretty bad this episode. And um, like I said, in the game, it's a much more. You know, it's, it's much more depth to it, why he wants to die, right? There's more depth to it. Here is that, because the pacing has been worse, they just kind of quickly just threw it some together. Oh, it wasn't Pascal, they wanted to die, actually, there was a kid that died by this other robot that was evil. You know what I mean? So this is way quicker, it's way cheaper. It's um, disappointing, massively so. As I said last week, this is what I'm afraid of, right? This is what I felt I had to bring up immediately. Uh, usually we do the whole you know, compassion in the end, but... That was almost over, but yeah, it's like I felt like no, that's the oh, that's Yakas, no, and there's Lily, of course. Ah, oh, with the look on here, of course, gives her the white flower. Yeah, I see, I see, and obviously Lily is also a flower, right? So yeah, it's uh, uh oh yeah, back to A2 being around, <laughs> back to the 9S doing I don't know, destroying factories. Yeah, this is a part of his life now. Um, ah, oh, this episode is terrible. It worships so far. Yeah, it's just I just feel like I don't want to see anymore now. This is this is just. But I mean, I said last week, right? I was very afraid that they were gonna just exactly remove that scene with Pascal. That's why I brought up the religious uh, thing last episode. I got a lot of negative feedback on that on Reddit. People were like, no, let me. my point was the whole idea that the issue by not connecting Pascal's fate or lack of fate with the guys being sellouts, you're gonna have the issue of like, you know, good and evil religions to speak, you know? No, obviously Pascal's voice said Ayuki for some reason doing this thing. That's obviously that voice. The door opens. But it's very really cryptic. These new towers that Nine S goes through, yeah, they're all very, yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, the next episode has to be the tower, yeah. Next episode. Now you can enter the tower, right? And yeah, she's gonna see it too. So they're both gonna go to the tower, of course. Like in the game, yeah. They're both gonna go to the tower. Meet up in the tower there. And we probably see. Uh, um, uh, and the Vola are at the tower in the game, so but and and uh, yeah, Lily told them to go somewhere else, so they are probably alive and fine. They probably will appear at the tower in this episode. Oh, this is like part of the, oh, this is the game, how the game ends, and they're talking about it. Interesting. Oh, yeah, this is like how the game is too. Yeah, it's a little bit hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's trying some extra lines here. Very quick though. Nine S not hot to no interesting. Yeah. So yeah, let's go over the differences. Okay, so rather have me go into the Pascal thing. Let's not cover that again then. But obviously I am disappointed. Like I'm really disappointed. Uh, even though I expected this to be bad, right? Honestly, I, I did, yeah. And I mean I said it last episode, I keep saying it, but you know, sometimes we watch an anime or whatever, right? But I think especially when you watch a TV show uh, that is weekly. You kind of feel that, well, this didn't make much sense. Like, why did it skip over that part? Or, huh. Uh, like, you could just feel how, last episode, you could really feel how the pacing wouldn't make any sense this episode. And that's, uh, the problem was definitely the pacing, I think, primarily. Because, like I said earlier, right, I think the biggest issue, I mean, okay, ignoring, I mean, obviously the biggest issue is that Pascal is completely rewritten, right? Instead of, again, instead of having that, like, why should I be alive, and deleting it himself, right? Instead of having that scene, and now it's just like he did it with the, the last crap of child, but he makes the children die, you know, in the game. So it's, it's way made, it, the game is so much darker because he takes the kids and kills them. Yeah. So uh, he goes into a cult state, you know. Um, so it's way darker. But ignoring that, that's almost that's the, the, almost that's the biggest issue here. That's the change. The reason I think that it changed, except just maybe censorship, right? Maybe it's just censored in the anime. But if you ignore that, I think the other reason it's changed is, like I said earlier, I feel the pacing has been really bad for a few episodes. And the reason it happens there is that, like I said, you have to kind of explain this thing, right? Like I got it last episode. You have to explain that Pascal has been, like, you know, thinking about what is the meaning of life. I'm a pacifist now. I have free will, those robots turn into zealots, and so they kind of lost the free will again. The way this shows to be religious, 
and that gave them purpose again. So maybe they died, but at least they were happy, right? They also don't use evil or whatever, blah, blah. And I'm just trying to live this like normal life, and I'm unhappy, and stuff is bad or whatever, right? And he's just kind of like, what is the purpose of life, and so on. So it's a lot of, like, you know, layers to that. It's a lot of backstories, a lot of explanation and fundamentals, ideas, and so on, right? Um, and like I said, then, obviously, that takes time to build up, right? Or at least you will have a full... You will, you will need this episode to be, like, a full Pascal episode otherwise, right? Um, to completely cover that. But now it's that uh, they, they just had to do it quickly, right? They had to make Pascal die really quickly here, I felt. Like, in a minute, for no reason, really. So they just kind of threw that scene together that, well, one of the kids turned evil and killed other kids by turning into a zombie. Oh, yeah, well, zombie kids, or whatever, it's over. Uh, you know what I mean? This is very, very shallow, obviously. Completely ruins the end of his character. And, yeah, I keep saying it. It just really changed it. And I just felt that was going to happen last week. Um, but overall, though, before we talk about one difference here, uh, overall, I think the episode was bad. Not just because it was kind of I'm just not being negative now. No, but I think the episode was weak. The first 10 minutes, I barely paid attention, honestly, with a little bit. Yeah, because that bit wasn't interesting. And it, it, and it annoys me, right? Because that bit, the first 10 minutes, not all of them, but let's say at least 8 minutes or so, uh, more or less the first bit was just about Lily and the, the, the village, you know, the human village kind of thing, resistance part. Um, that could have been about Pascal instead, right? That was just so pointless. Like I said earlier, that was just turned into a zombie movie. That was just like, oh no, we're stuck in a zombie apocalypse. And then it's like, oh no, of course, the, the girl in the corner is a zombie. You know what I mean? It was very cliche to Yeah, I mean, I, I made fun of it in the middle because it just turned into like a very, very cliche zombie flick where it's always like, you know, you escape with 10 people into a mall or whatever, right? And then, of course, one of them is bitten. And she doesn't say anything, and then she turns into a zombie. And then you see if it's five other characters in another house, and then one is bitten, and it keeps going like that. One has like a wife that's a zombie, or whatever, and it's all the other one, yeah. Or, you know, it's like, it, it became like this like, really cliche zombie flick. Um, and that was just really uninteresting. The only interesting part was that, as I said earlier, that Popola and the Walla could heal them, and they could remove the Logic virus. And that is something that the game really tried to address way more. Had, uh, how these two OG Android ladies can actually do a lot more stuff, right? And have more powers and so on. That could be something the anime could have explained better. But I guess they probably have some more script on next episode. They should meet up with 9S probably before he enters the tower. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, the first 10 minutes was pretty bad. Yeah, like, the, sure, Pascal wins the fight, then he's turned into a zombie movie. Um, second half, 9S, right, gets another factory. And gets more tormented, similar to Last Factory, when the game is more the flashbacks. So I like how the, the factories have like generative torment flashbacks. Ha <laughs> ha! You missed your girlfriend! <laughs> it's so evil! Uh, they keep doing that to mess with him. Um, and then, of course, she basically invited to the tower, right? And uh, A2 had to kill off Lily. That's sad. Um, I mean, obviously, Lily was her, like, the only survivor. Except her, of course, they might have been those together were the only survivors of the Pearl Harbor incident, of the whole, like, you know, uh, flashbacks and so on, right? In, in the like, original Yora war kind of thing. So, obviously, she had a lot of, like, oh, that's my OG girl, right? But I think that scene was just... I think that was a really bad episode, honestly. Not just with the Pascal thing, but... It just was a very weird episode, right? Because... The little bit, A2 barely cared about it. It's like, she was like, whatever, shoot, bam, you know. She, she, she didn't seem to almost not care about it. But like, whatever, that's kind of A2. She's a cold Sundre, right? You know, she's like, with the children, yeah, she's a Sundre. So fine. But I think that also was weird how... I mean, obviously, I disliked the Pascal death scene. Obviously, that was terrible here. But it was just weirdly put to, right? Because A2 has to kill Lily... So Lily won't, you know, become an evil zombie or whatever. She's transforming into a zombie. And she can call them zombies now. Yeah, I love the vibe there. So it's a Lily transforming into a zombie state. So A2 ends her. And then, like that, we see Pascal dying too. So it, it felt like really weird because they had those, like, they had those two death scenes, that, you know, bam, bam, next to each other. And that didn't add much. It was, that was a little weird. Like, she shoots Lily... And then we see Pascal's arm flying. So like, oh, he's not too. Okay, whatever. A tower. <laughs> yeah, it felt like they just... It felt like that, the episode was just really bad, honestly. The episode was terrible, yeah. 
Like, what can I say? This episode, what? This ep- like, what can I say? This episode generally was terrible. So, A2 has to end Lydia, right? Because she's turning into zombie robot. And when that's happening, while she's, like, shooting Lily, Pascal's find the children. Again, n- massive censorship on Pascal's children's scene. And then he explodes. And while she's shooting Lily, Pascal's arms fly next to her. He's land next to her. And she's like, bam. Huh? I said that too. Like, whatever. Uh, tower over there. She runs to the tower. You're like, what? Yeah, it, it felt like... Because the episode was so better done, the first 10 minutes had, like, nothing happening. It's zombies, whatever, right? Nothing's happening with Lily Camp, but Paula and the Wall are people, but extremely slow pace. And then suddenly it was like two of the main characters died in like a second, yeah. They both died at the same time. This, this scene was so bad. Not only how they changed the Pascal scene, but just how like Lily and Pascal died in the same minute, yeah. Like they died like neck to neck, like bam, 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 dead, both of them. She stepped in the middle, being like, what was happening? <laughs> it was way too whiplash. And again, from having a very, very slow start to. From having like a super slow um, part one, what do you call it, first ten minutes before the before the commercial break, and then it then suddenly it went on like a massive yeah speed up. So it went from like really slow pace to extremely extremely high pace. I mean again they censored the Pascal scene right probably because it's want to end it very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's, like it, it's just a bad episode because I said obviously before, but I mean you could have spent those ten minutes right. They were very slow pace building up. Pascal instead, right, you know, uh, and then that that character, but now it feels like this this should be next episode, I don't know, if it's really weird that they had Lily's death scene at the same time now, if it's super, sp- yes, if it's like they're both of the death scenes are under- underwhelming, <laughs> yeah, they managed to do them both kind of meh at the same time, and A2 seemingly barely cared about either of them getting killed, <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, it's just like, what is this thing, I mean, it was, it was terrible, I don't understand what it really at all, um, but don't happen episode generally. I mean, you got yeah, 9S hearing 2B, and then also the voice for the towers clearly our Yuki though, I think so. Pascal's voice for some reason, but that's probably just lack of voice actors. She, she can do five characters, yeah, probably. I don't think I have any legit to that. Um Well, I guess I wish we saw Red Girl more. So as I mentioned earlier, Popola and the Wall can heal, right? That is not really shown in the game, so they're giving them more and more powers now, right? And we know they have more powers based on the first game and so on. Um, I believe they will appear in the next episode, they should do at least, and a fight with 9S or with A2, or maybe perhaps both. But I'm hoping they're going to have more screen time, right? I said it earlier, like a few weeks ago, that I hope that they're going to give the tower more screen time, because in the tower, their library will be, which is the classic main hub place, in the first game and the near then, when she runs, like, the, she's the mayor and she lives in this library. And that library is a big part of the tower. Like, the actual library has been copied into the, in, into the tower. So, I'm certainly, a two, maybe not as that, has a final book earlier. Uh, it should be, I think in the game, it should be A2 fighting it. But in the anime, since they rewrite that a, 9S found, like, another library, with, like, a hack code in, with the Gestalt thing inside that library, he probably will find this library, the second library, inside the tower, I guess. That will make, from an anime standpoint, it make more sense. But in the game, it's kind of opposite, but whatever. <laughs> and they kind of commit to that now, so yeah. Uh, but hopefully, Popola and Nuvola will be inside the tower instead. I really hope they rewrite that, because in the game, they, they're basically, honestly, like kind of a glorified cameo in the end of the game. We can appear and help you. But I hope they instead get inside the tower and explain more of the library and how the red girl comes back to her. Again, because they can he- they, they actually they actually have the power to stop her, right? They actually have the antidote to her. So that should be way more focused. And now when Lily was like, you you guys are too important, you can't fight in this zombie thing. So she sent them away, right? Uh, I think that should be much more important now and explain why that happened. And obviously she shouldn't have done so stupid. Gonna, <laughs> they, they, they would be safer with her and the rest of the crew, though. And healing them instead of sending them by themselves. So they have, yeah, this is really, that was really dumb. That scene was really stupid. It honestly just worked like a really weird, like I said earlier, a way to just kill off Lily quickly, right? Because Papola and the wall, I could have cured her, so there would be no purpose doing anything whatsoever. And there was no, no real reason why they shouldn't stay with Lily and the rest of the fighters because 
selling them by themselves just means that there are two people, I guess, you know, the rest by themselves. Yeah, for no reason. Now, of course, those two are way stronger than Lily are. Yeah, Fallout and the Wall are, like, much stronger than Lily is. Like, 10,000 times stronger, I guess, if they actually fight for reals. But still, though, they're, they're like, bosses. <laughs> yeah, they are, like, high-level bosses. But, I mean, still, I, I, that made no sense. Like, they, they entered, they healed the crew, and then she sends them away from the guys they healed. Which is like, why? Why not, why not just let them, you know, why not protect them with, you know, with your team? Yeah, like, that was a stunned damn scene. No, Lapsus just felt really forced, yeah. Disappointing, to say the least. What do you guys think? Um, Disappointing episode, uh, to say the least, absolutely. Do you guys subscribe, slap it, and have a great day.